after power sharing we will be discussing the second chapter of your deep politics book and this chapter is federalism children this is one aspect of power sharing in which we will be discussing the forms of government where people share different types of powers so first of all we should be very clear with the term what is federation what is federation federation is when weak small states join together and they form one big state in which the smaller states surrender some powers to one strong center and some they retain with themselves it is called as federation this federation means weak small in order to protect themselves defend themselves they join and make one big country whereby they surrender some powers to one big powerful uh, state country or government person or leader and rest they keep for themselves in order to govern their own smaller areas so it is called an agreement of joining is called as a federation or federalism so today's topic is the same what is federation and in this meaning we had laid emphasis on two so federation means federalism or federation means having two sets of government one the strong the big the central center and the other the second the regional or state government so where there is the division we say there is federalism dividing the dual set of government divide dual set of government dividing the powers in two hands is called as federation or federalism in one now we say that what are we can explain it further in the way that what are the various features of federation federation or federalism so one very big feature is that there are lev two levels of government one is the state and other is the center national center is also called as the uh, national and state is also called as the regional number 2 is there are two sets of two sets of 
identities which people that or which people have to maintain and in this they they are they belong they belong to the state as well as as and as well as to the country number 3 each system of government has the powers derived from the constitution means there is a division division of power mentioned in the constitution and as such they have the governments have their their own jurisdiction they have their own jurisdiction in matters matters of taxation take in matters of taxation administration etc number next feature is that no provision no provision of the constitution can be changed by one set of government number next feature that it has independent judiciary to solve the disputes between and among the center and the states so children we have pointed out that what are the features characteristics of federalism or federation we see commonly we see that federalism or federation follows is based on certain principles principle like the it has two levels of government the regional government and as well as the national government number 2 we said discuss the two sets of identities people belong to the state as well as people belong to the entire country number 3 we had said that each region has a separate system of government having its powers and representations derived from the constitution then we discussed that uh, each government has its own jurisdiction in matter of taxation and administration no provision of the constitution can be changed by one simple by one set of government neither only the central government nor the state government can change the or amend the constitution and there is independent 
judiciary uh, to solve the center state disputes and one more feature of uh, federalism is double citizen citizenship which this principle is not applicable in india only we had earlier this set of double uh, citizenship with uh, jammu and kashmir when it was a state now it is converted into union territory and there is single only now the single indian citizenship not of a separate jnk citizen as such this principle is not adopted in india basic features or characteristics of federal uh, federation or federalism uh, we had discussed now the thing is what are the ways what are the ways ways of making a federation federation or federalism there are two ways two ways of making of federal federalism one is one is coming together second is holding together coming together simply means weak countries weak states join together and form a big union big union coming together means when smaller weaker states countries in order to have protection they join together form big union and is represented in the form of states and big union it is called as coming together example of coming together is usa all the 52 states they have come together basic point of uh, federalism coming together for usa was when earlier 13 small states joined together in the beginning and formed and at present there are 52 states which have joined together and formed united states of america the other example is of australia australia and the third example of coming together of smaller states is switzerland they are the examples usa australia switzerland are the examples of coming together we coming together and forming one union the other is the other way of uh, fed joining making federation or federalism is another way when a big country when a big country on its own decides to distribute some powers to the states and maintain and retain some important powers of defending the country with itself it is called as holding holding together when a big country a big state which is not able to administer all together on its own decides to distribute the powers to the regions so that the administration is effectively smoothly carried out and the, they distribute and maintain some important powers which they apply all over the area together uh, 
at the same time and protect the country they are called as the that tarika that method of distributing power and holding all together is called as holding together in this method of distribution of powers all states may not be given equal powers that is also one aspect of holding together india when it was formed it was formed by joining of princely states together with the so called the british india administration and later on formed together word india in which the these princely states were converted into the regions and given power to rule through democratic process that is called holding together we indian government of india had held together all regions uh, by allotting some powers to them for example we have the examples of uh, the uh, spain uh, we have the example of india we have the example of belgium belgium spain india india is the example for holding together australia switzerland and usa is the example of coming together so how is federation carried out how is federation formed federation is formed by two ways there are two ways roads paths to reach to this federation one is coming together and other is holding together thank you next portion will be discussed in the next video